三千幾年前，埃及法老圖坦卡門承繼王位，成為第十八王朝嘅法老王。但係登基約十年左右就神秘去世，而佢嘅陵墓喺大約一九二二年被發現。由於陵墓從來未被盜墓者洗劫，大部分陪葬品都保存完善。為咗俾更多民眾可以欣賞呢個世界奇觀，目前喺温哥華會議中心就正舉行 Beyond King Tut 嘅沉浸式展覽。而投射影像嘅方式，重現古埃及世界。喺今晚嘅休閒活動展覽，我哋就一齊去探察一下當地歷史同埋文明古蹟。為咗慶祝法老王圖坦卡門嘅陵墓被發掘一百週年，呢、這個展覽使用投射影像，製造出古埃及同埋陵墓嘅視覺效果。展覽策劃人表示，希望能夠以崭新嘅手法，揭開當地法老王嘅神秘面紗。The storytelling of this exhibition is overseen by National Geographic. So we're a little different here. We have nine galleries. It's not just one immersive room. It's a progressive storytelling. So you move from one, one room to the next room to the next, and then finally the large immersive room where things surround you. Locke 指出，鉴于古代埃及人利用插图进行交流，因此佢哋选择以沉浸嘅方式，其中包括吉萨金字塔、狮身人面像等，了解更多古埃及嘅奥妙。展览最后一个大型沉浸式房间，亦都将分成三大部分，包括图坦卡门嘅来世之旅、国家地理摄影作品，而最后一幕图坦卡门法老王将亲身迎宾，令观众有亲历其境嘅感受。The Egyptians believed that you needed to go through a number of stages、uh, and judgments to achieve eternal life and then paradise, and that is told in animation in the exhibition in this in this、uh, immersive room. The other chapter is really to showcase the amazing photography of National Geographic and bring the artifacts, the objects, to life in a spectacular way. They surround you. They become larger than life. The gold mask becomes two stories high. 而國家地理雜誌攝影師亦都表示，佢曾經喺圖坦卡門陵墓拍攝嘅二百張照片，亦都於場內展出。佢亦期望入場嘅民眾可以用另一種方式踏上呢段難忘嘅旅程。Tut's artifacts will be on display at the new Grand Egyptian Museum. They'll never travel again. So the only way to inspire a young generation of school children or even adults that might be thinking about going to Egypt, the exquisite detail is just breathtaking when you're standing there with the real thing. So hopefully you'll come here, you'll get educated, you'll get inspired. Beyond King Tut, the immersive experience 展览将由即日起展出至明年一月。民眾可以瀏覽網站查詢購票詳情。另外，今年嘅温哥華聖誕工藝品市場由即日起去到星期日喺温哥華會議中心西翼舉行，入場同埋開放詳情可以去 Circle Craft 網站查詢。好啦，今晚嘅休閒活動指南就講到呢度。